Alan had, had been an, a comedy writer. Actually, he went to he was in animation first with Jay Ward, who, who had a, an animation house, as you may remember, and uh, which su su suggests kind of silly comedy, though Alan's comedy was never that way. And then he had a partner named Chris Hayward, and they wrote for he and she. They created one of my. You asked earlier about my all you know failures. And here was one that I don't admit to this day was much of a failure, but the whole world will tell you it was the worst television show ever made, most of whom never saw it. It was called My Mother the Car, and Alan and Chris created that show, and I bought it for NBC, and, and it failed relatively quickly. It, it was just born too early, you know, it was ahead of its time. Yeah. If, if we did it today, it would be a huge, a huge success, which I don't really believe. But it wasn't, it wasn't as despicable as people have talked about it. The fact that a, a woman came back as a car um, and Jerry Van Dyke's mother. Anyway, Alan had done that with Chris. And, uh, and then, as I say, I met him at Fox doing episodes of 222. And uh, Jim, I didn't know at all until I got to Fox or anything about him. He had done less work. Jim actually started uh, in, in the newsroom in, at CBS in New York at, out of school and in some scut level role uh, and, and just was very bright and wanted to write and became a writer. Uh, worked, worked for David Wolper for a while, I think, when he came out here, and that would have been in the documentary area, and then wrote a, a, a script. He's, he'd probably written episodes of other things, but he wrote the, this pilot for Room 222, which was very good, uh, and, and not, I wouldn't say ahead of its time, but it was, uh, it was topical. It was a, 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 about a black uh, high school teacher. Uh, and, um, it, and it won was, a number of awards, actually. Yeah, it? and it, oh, it, was, it was well done, and, and it was, that's what attracted me to Jim and Alan. Gene Reynolds was also involved in that as producer and director, but, but, but the work they did was very good, and that, which is why I... I didn't feel safe. I, I, I just felt that I was placing a very good bet in asking them to work together, which is one of my few credits, is that I, I was bright enough to do that. What do they each bring to the table, Brooks and uh, Burns? What are their strengths? Well, I think they're different today, but at the time, uh, Jim was the, 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 the wilder, more adventurous, hard, funny writer, I think, which is not to say he isn't a deep thinker, because he is. And Alan was more the producer and the, the stable one. And then they were quickly joined by, uh, by Ed Weinberger and Stan Daniels and Bob Ellison and Earl Pomerantz and, uh, and um, a couple of uh, ladies who, who uh, don't immediately occur to me. Um, and they should, because they were very important. But we had a... Uh, ultimately, about seven or eight creative people on that show, all of whom stayed for the full seven years when we then voluntarily decided to, to, to close it down. And that's remarkable today. Today, um, I, just, I just read a couple of days ago about a young man I've met who works with Gary Goldberg and co-created Spin City, which is a current show, a, a guy named Bill Lawrence, who has who did a little writing, I think, for Saturday Night Live or one of those shows, and, and Gary hired him to do a, a, a little work on a, an ill-fated show called Champs, then co-created this show, Spin City, with him. He's done for now two years, and, and ABC just gave him over $10 million for three years of a show or, or, for nothing yet so far. I mean, he'll create something. But that's what happens these days, and that... And why television, and, or one of the reasons that television isn't uh, as good as it might be, is that people understandably uh, tend to, you know, spend one year on Cheers and get a credit of supervising producer or story editor or something, and then go sell it to Disney for $5 million. And they aren't really ready to do what Alan and Jim were ready to do at that time.